Hi here, Finns here. I'm back for another Strictly review of week five on the Strictly dance floor. Well, on the Strictly dance floor, I should say. Um, and yes, it was Blackpool in not Blackpool week this week. Yeah, we're going with that. So basically, okay, they called it Blackpool week, but we, but obviously, they couldn't go to Blackpool this week, sadly. So instead, they tried to bring Blackpool to L Street. Although, I have to be honest, you know, it felt like any other week, really, because... First of all, it was not in the Blackpool Tower room. It was just in the L Street um, uh, um, studio, really. Um, you couldn't recreate the bouncy springing board. Um, they, you, they didn't even have extra pros on them, so it really did feel like any other week on Strictly, really. The only thing Blackpool about it was the opening routine from the pros, and that's it. Um, I guess these kind of routines you would do at Blackpool, but even some of them weren't even that Blackpool themed, I guess. Yeah, it was a weird one. Um, they tried to make the most of what they got. Um, you know, the heart was there. They tried to have some heart. There was heart there. And sadly, spoiler, Caroline and Johannes was voted off as the next couple to leave Strictly. I'm sad to see them go because they had so much personality. They had so much chemistry together. They were so much fun. You know, you never had a boring moment for them. They were such a great couple, and I'm sad to see them go. Caroline really, really tried her best, and but I guess the the, the, the level of the standard of dance is very high this year, and I guess others were getting nines and tens, and she was still trying to get eights. And you know, you needed to shine early on this year. You only got nine weeks to shine. Um, but she did improve, she did get 8, she got 24, which is her highest score, and yet she did a cha-cha-cha, um, and it was quite a routine, um, yeah. It was quite a routine, um, yeah, it was, I think she tried to bring the comedy element to it, but was very, very camp, very weird, very, there's the, the, the very camp fine <laughs> from Johannes and, you know, and there was a lot of leg and then they were climbing up the ladder and it was very, ooh, and then when they got into the cha cha it wasn't too bad. I don't think she was technically the strongest of the night, but yeah. Oh, and that lick, she licks Johannes' um, arm for, for some reason, like, no, 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 don't, just don't do that, no. <laughs> it just, why? Why the lick? Because, uh, like, no, just, 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 no. That was just wrong on, on so many levels. And the, the, the cat was there and, like, what was it all about? I, I didn't get all... Like, what's this got to do with Blackpool? Like, what this routine got to do with Blackpool? I guess they wanted the comedian to come out of Caroline, but... What was it? The fireman and the cat and the... the, the, the what's this got to do with Blackpool? Like, like, we perform this routine in Blackpool. I mean, it's, it's so bizarre. We are, we're not even talking about the, 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 the dance, really. I mean, it was a decent cha-cha-cha. It wasn't that bad. It just, it just wasn't as, as strong as some of the others, unfortunately. And she was in the dance-off with... <gasps> Shocking horror! Maisie and Gorka is in the dance-off again! Yes! <laughs> I always wanted to do that, and I thought that was a good moment to do that. Yeah, Mason Gorka was in a dance-off, this time with a, a good routine, a better routine, one of their best routines. It was a salsa, and it was very impressive. It's like, after watching it, it was like, oh, so many lifts, I'm so knackered just watching that. I was really surprised to see them in the dance-off again. I, well, after watching Saturday Night, I thought, okay, I think they've done enough to save themselves this week. 
Um, but then as the results were coming in, then Clara and Aliash were saved, then oh, actually it might be Mason Gorka, and then it was JJ and Amy and Mason Gorka left on the stairs, and actually it, it, it was 50-50, I had a funny feeling it might be Mason Gorka, and it was. And what is happening to Maisie Smith? Clearly the public don't like her. <laughs> she's not well liked, she's too good, she's too good. It's, it's like Ashley Roberts all over again. People are f finding her too good, she's done one, the children need special, she had so much dance experience. You know, she is knocking out. <laughs> she's, and I really hope deep down we don't get to see her in the dance off next week because I do feel sorry for her that because she's a good dancer. She doesn't deserve to be in the dance off at all. But she somehow, it might be her routines or, you know, something's not connecting right. I thought her salsa was really good. I think I knew there was one lift that went a bit wrong. Um, it could have got tens instead it got nines all around, which was deserved. And yes, she also had to perform early. Getting the number two spot in the running order may have not helped either. So maybe if next week she does like a different, maybe not do a Latin. We've done Latin quite a lot with her. Um, do something different um, next week. Like, hopefully they'll give her a later slot in the running order. Um, yeah, and I am. Um, I hope she doesn't. She just needs to connect to the audience now. I mean, the EastEnders block vote is not working with her <laughs> for some reason. Um, you know, um, yeah. I am sad to see her in the dance of I hope she doesn't get there next week. I mean, well, poor girl, she's only 19 as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was also really worried about Clara and Aliash. They did a samba and they only got 18 points. They finished last. Con compared to last week, being the top of the leaderboard, almost getting a perfect 30 to the following week coming dead last in the scores. I was really worried we were going to lose Clara. I'm like, no. I was thinking it was going to happen. And then when they called out Clara and Alex, I was like, yes. I was so happy because this really tests her public vote, Clara. And I've been so happy because I was really worried, you know. Because, you know, sometimes on Strictly, people don't like to vote for the big, you know, loud person all the time, you know. You know, it's just, it's just typical Strictly viewers, you know, sometimes they don't pick up the phone and vote. As you know, with Team Mika Empson, Alexandra Burke, Chizzy Akadulu, you know, all these big characters that, you know, struggle to get votes. People, they might be too loud. I hope those days are now over. And, you know, um, and people are liking Clara. They're warming to her, you know. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm happy she's given another chance. And I'm really happy. I think this kind of proves that she, people are supporting her. People are connecting to her and... Yeah, I, I'm really happy, and um, she's doing a Tina Turner routine next week, so I'm interested to see which one was that. Um, it's probably another Latin routine. Um, yeah. Um, who else? Who else? Um, let's talk about JJ and Amy. They really... Um, they did a quick step. Much better this week than it was last week. Um, yeah, it was a decent quick step. Um, maybe it wasn't the perfect, best quick step, but the feet, the footwork was right. Um, I was quite worried we were going to lose them, um, on Sunday, but they stayed, they weren't in the dance-off. Um, I do think maybe JJ's time now, Caroline's gone, is might be a bit limited now. Um, you know, he's doing very well, and he is getting better, and, you know, best luck to him. Um, let's talk about the the better pros. Um, Jamie and Karen did a street dance commercial thing. Um, yeah, it was a bit, you know, not so strictly. It was very good and they were in sync and yeah, yeah, and actually they were really good. They had so much energy to that performance. Yeah, maybe it, it is kind of gimmicky, you know, the whole street dance yo, 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 you know, kind of thing is a bit, can, can come across a bit cringe sometimes. It didn't come off so cringy, it was very impressive. Actually, actually good graphics, actually. Um, I didn't mind the um, VAR, or what they call it, um, in the performance, actually. Um, no, it's, it was a good routine, actually. I give them credit, and they got 29 out of 30, which was very impressive. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with a street commercial, can you? Or Couples Choice, really, um, most of the time. Can you? Especially when it's street commercial, really. I mean, when have they given out twos or threes for a street commercial, really? Um, but no, it was a very good routine, you can't deny that. Who else did well? Ram and Giovanni did the first Argentine Thai tango um, of the series. It was very good. That's such a tricky dance with all those legs flicking around, you know. And they did a really good job. Maybe not the the strongest Argentine Thai tango of all time, but it was still good. It, it still had chemistry um, and it was very fierce. I like Ram Vier. Finally, a Good Morning Britain presenter. That's doing really well, and I'm really happy. I think she's more of a Susanna Reid than a Charlotte Hawkins, really, which is, or Fiona Phillips, or Kate Galloway. So it's nice to see Rambia doing well. Um, and I think she's got a really good partner with Giovanni. Harvey and Jeanette did a tango. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, uh, not the strongest. He did make a few mistakes in the performance. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, he, he did really well in the performance. Um, yeah, yeah, decent tango, decent scores, irrespectful, not his best, but not his worst. Uh, Bill and O.T. did an American Smooth, opened the show, it was very nice, very pleasant. Not the strongest, again, with Bill, I think his arms, I remember, not being the best. So, you know, or his feet or something, something he needed work on, but... Um, you know, he was okay, he wasn't, he wasn't, he, he, we've seen him stronger, um, yeah, um, is that all the routines? Is that all eight of them? Wait, it's the four boys and four girls, aren't there? I think I have talked about them all. Yes, I have, wow, that's gone quick, wow, <laughs> the numbers are going down quickly, week by week, aren't they? Wow, the short series, wow. Um, so that was Blackpool not in Blackpool week. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even know it was <laughs> Blackpool week, really, wasn't it? Because none of the routines got to do anything about Blackpool, really. Were they? Apart from Clara and Aliash that had a Blackpool calf and Bill Noti, you know. It was about a routine you would usually do in Blackpool, I guess. And some of the VTs had Blackpool base, you know. This is what the professionals used to do in Blackpool every, when they were younger, you know. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I think the heart of Blackpool was, they tried to keep the heart there, which is nice to see, I guess. In any case, um, I think that's all I have to say about the Strictly Review. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, let's hope Amazing Rock are not in the dance of next week, just for the sake of it. The, yeah. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want. And remember to keep dancing. And I will see you next time for another video very soon. Until then, goodbye, people. Goodbye. Uh, oh gosh, I need to fast forward. Oh, Bye.